here relationship between composed speed and individual speed of axis is discussed when we mention composed speed in point table then it is required to find out actual speed of individual axis this is 0 0 uh, say this is uh, 10000 or take mm 100 mm and this is uh, 200 and 100 mm okay 200 and 100 mm so this is my starting condition okay this is my axis 1 this is axis 2 so i will make this axis as a master abs 2 and in ab here target will be 200 here target will be will is 100 okay now i will mention i want compose speed of 100 mm per minute what will be the speed of axis 1 and axis 2 object speed is 100 mm per minute we have to find out speed of axis 1, speed of axis 2. First, you find out the distance, distance to be travelled by object. What is that distance? This distance, say it is uh, distance is equal to under root, this is 100, this is 200. So, 100 square plus 200 square. What is this value? Huh? 100 root? 220 point something. 223 point, point 6 mm. What is the speed of object? 100. You can find out the time. Remember, both the axis will run for same time. So, from this, we will find out the time of rotation. For the both the axis, you will get same time. You have time, you have distance, find out the speed. So, time is equal to Two point two three minutes because your speed is hundred mm per minute, so your time is two point two three minute. Distance is equal to v t, so t is equal to d by v. Hmm? Distance is equal to v t, so t is equal to d by v. So using these values, d is hundred, uh, d is two. 23.6 upon 100 mm per minute so this time comes 2.236 minute so this time is available with you this huh, correct d by v t is equal to d by v d is equal to vt na integration of velocity we consider uh, constant velocity okay now you have distance 200 distance and this time so what is the speed of this v is equal to d by t d is 200 for x axis 200 time is 2.236 so what is this value 89.6 mm per minute what is this is axis 1 so for axis one, axis 2 distance is 100 2.236 so it is half of this 40 8 mm per minute got it still this is approximate time 
because we have not considered acceleration and deceleration of the object, okay, but it is quite approximate, quite near to right answer. Okay. Now, in this point table, we had mentioned compose speed. If you mention longest speed, then with respect to this speed, other speed will be decided. Then you have to do reverse calculation. You have to find out compose speed and you have to find out speed of the axis 2. Got it? 